I represent an individual in a divorce, and the other side delivered a proposed order to show cause. An order to show cause is a document where you request from the court some type of immediate relief, like uh, if it's in a divorce and it's concerning children, I don't want the child to go to go on this vacation, or I'd like to enroll the child in this school, or I'd like to have this weekend and not some other time, or something like that, or I want to get a child's passport. If it's financial, it could be uh, I'm immediately requesting that the court direct the other side to pay the mortgage, to pay the car, to pay legal fees, uh, to pay health insurance. Or some, it, it's an effort to get some redress immediately. That's an order to show cause. So I was, I am in receipt of a proposed order to show cause. That's a document that hasn't been signed by a judge. So I had this awareness and then the document was signed by the judge and I got that awareness. I had been made, it had been made known to me. The order requires that my client be served personally and that I received the document by certified mail. And I didn't receive that. So I know the judge signed, but I was not served. So I don't know if that means, well, there is no service. So I don't have to appear in court on that day. Because did they change their mind? Was the issue remedied? Are they going to go about it with a different approach? Is the court date not good for the litigant or the other attorney? I don't know. But all I do know is that I was not served, so I'm not going to appeal. But I feel nervous, right? Because I have an awareness that it was filed and that the judge even signed. However, the document that the judge signed says I must be served by certified mail. I was not, and my client must be served personally, and my client was not. Therefore, with no service, it's not a legally legitimate document. I don't know if it's legally legitimate, but it's not an effective document. I wasn't served. That's it.